Welcome back to Credit Card Wars Part 187. Airbnb, your RV. Who is this video for? This video is for anyone who has a RV or travel trailer and is considering renting it out on Airbnb in 2023. So here's where our story begins. We technically have a travel trailer, but I'm gonna call it an RV anyway. So we purchased this RV for our family back in November of 2022. We have it parked in a beach called Crystal Beach. Here in the South, everybody has probably heard of Galveston. Galveston is like a like an island where it's a beach, really historic. But just north of Galveston is a beach called Crystal Beach. I would call that area still developing, maybe underdeveloped, but we kind of liked that beach because you're able to drive your, your vehicle onto the beach. So long story short, we have our RV part rented at 600 bucks is what we're paying for that spot. It all started again with us just using that space for our own family. Maybe coming down there once or twice a month during the holiday time. And then Nico decided, hey, why not? Since we already have the spot, we're already paying $600 for the spot. We're paying for insurance for our RV. We paid off our RV, which is a 2020, I think it's called a Kingston. I'm not really sure of the name, but it's a 2020 30 foot long. So we, we already have it um, decor, uh, furnished for our own family. So we decided in February, why not put our RV up onto Airbnb. So right now it's March 2nd. We checked our RV out recently uh, after a guest has checked out. So this person that checked in, checked out. Here is, is Nico walking into our RV for the first time where a guest from Airbnb rented the place. I think they rented it for six days. So let's kind of get Nico's initial thoughts. Hi guys, so we're back here. This is our first checkout. Um, I'm excited to see what the RV looks like and what the procedure is gonna be like after your first guest checkout. So you don't know what to expect? No, this is our first, first time. So the guests just left, how many days did they stay here? Uh, they were here for eight days. It was just a nice young couple. It sounds like they were just traveling um, through the place and seeing other area in Texas, it sounds like. Maybe open up some of the shades. Mm -hmm. so, so initially when you look at it, how do things look? I mean, it looks like our home after the kids leaves, I suppose. Um, this is a great experience because our first guest didn't have children. Um, even though we have kids of our own, we stayed in the RV many, many times. Uh, it's such a smaller space compared to our house. I'm always nervous if kids are going to be comfortable in here. But it sounds like the review that I got back from the clients, they were really happy. It was their first experience. And it was nice because they didn't have to deal with, you know, camping out. They got to have clean shower and almost like a mini home traveling with them. What made you decide to Airbnb out an RV? It's super windy today at the coast. Um, well, we got it because we really wanted to take a road trip with the kids and see the United States. But once school reopened back up and they're back at school, we noticed that um, it was just sitting here. We come here maybe once or twice a month. And I love the experience. You would never get me to go camping or do some of the outdoor stuff. So the fact that we got an RV, it gave me the opportunity to connect back and just be with the kids, make a bonfire, but then came home at nighttime and have a clean shower and lay my bed on a proper mattress. And I thought there's probably a bunch of other people that are just like us who's never camped before but would like to have the experience. So why not share that experience with them? Especially if someone's curious of, you know, buying an RV one day, I highly recommend before you do so, Go and rent an RV, see what it's like, see the layout. So from there, before you go purchase it, you kind of have an idea what you like and what you don't like. All right, let's clear this RV and then we'll we'll see where this goes. Okay. 
After, I think I would say two hours of putting on new bed linens, cleaning up the place, here is her final thoughts. Okay guys, so I would say for a one bedroom RV with two bunk bed and all I had was two adults checking in, um, it took me a good one hour to strip everything, disinfect, put everything brand new back and reloading the RV. Um, it wasn't as bad as I thought. Um, the only part that I ran into that was really difficult was honestly just the bed. Um, everything else is really simple enough to manage. Um, because you are working with tight space, you do have the right, you need to have the right equipment. That's what I would say, like my vacuum in certain angle was really hard to get through. So it was best if I had something that was a little bit smaller just to get in between nooks and cranny. But overall, it was a really good experience. My first client was also just a young couple trying to enjoy a week of their vacation as they traveled through Texas. So for me, I take this as a plus and I learn a lot from this experience. And in about an hour, we're gonna get another guest checking in. So we'll keep you guys in tune what's going on with what we're doing. If you wanna know more about Airbnb or just RV life, how to rent out your RV, comments down below. We love to, you know, do as many video and share our experience as much as we can. I hope you guys enjoy it. And until next time, I'll see you in our next episode. So as I mentioned, it's March 2nd. We pretty much rented out our spot on Crystal Beach three times during the month of February. There's a lot more details about the finances, what we made, what we didn't make, what we put into it, which I'm gonna go into it on our next video, which is next Thursday. But long story short, again, we started this by just buying an RV, a used RV for our family. We were already paying for our space down in Crystal Beach to park it. So we thought, what the hey, why not try to rent it out and make some money? So if you guys want to know more about how this turns out make sure you guys drop a comment below make sure you guys hit a like if this kind of resonates with you guys but until then i will see you guys next time on part two of airbnb your rv